So we finally got the seal kit. Carrot's holding it there. He's in charge of the seal kit. He's a very responsible child, right? Yeah. Okay. So we got the seal kit. We're gonna change out this uh, cylinder, the piston on this one. I already took it apart, drained most of the oil that I could catch into the back end of this waistband. And I just have to somehow get this off. So hopefully it won't be as big a pain as the other one. Yeah. Just come right off of the torque wrench. They even have to fight it for four days or do anything else. That scared me. Did it scare you? What made it so scary? Oh, I closed my eyes. You closed your eyes because it was so scary? So this piston, it's kind of like what I thought. This seal right there got melted when we were welding on that new piece for it. Yep. So we will pull that out and just change the whole thing around. The rest of it looks like, when I bought it, the guy said he'd, we'd, he'd redone the seals right before I got it. So I'm, they look like they're all in pretty good condition. It's other these, just these two seals that got melted. You can tell it's right there where the heat was just above it. So if I would have been able to compact or put that cylinder back in any other way other than right there next to that, the cylinder probably would have been fine. So we'll take those two off and check the other ones, make sure that they're still okay. And put it back together. Right, Carrick's got all the seals right there. He knows what's up, he's got it. Look right into that sunlight there. All right, let's go do the seals then. Because it's all dirty. We gotta clean that seal off. Yep. I gotta go get my trusty pocket knife out, huh? Yep. And we can then. find it in here. Deep pant pocket. Why is it so deep? I try it. Mm, I feel it. It has some. It is. It. Yeah, so that seal totally melted. Other than that, would have been good. Yeah, it melted that, that plastic seal heck? bad. What the heck? Why you always melt into it? Mm -hmm. Only you melt. Had to get that other piece welded on. And... You need a cuff You need to wipe that and cut it off and you take it out with. Yeah. And two of these, huh? Why that? Uh, just cut that one just because it's easier. Yep. Always. I love it. I will be like what what bad because that this one looks like it got a little melted too. Why? Not too bad, but, yeah, but enough that, well, we have the seal, we might as well change it, right? Mm, don't talk like, don't, don't need the hole because I don't want knife. Yes. Yeah, it's a little toasted there. Wow, it all it. Dang it. I pull it. Pull it. Pull it. Oh, it. Oh, it. Clean off 
all the way around here. Oh. How late do you do it night? Okay, now hold it. Okay. Still, still looks like it's pretty good in there. Okay. Well, I cool. Not melted at all either. Yep. Lay it a little bit now. Or it not melt. This one. This one. This one. I always do. Why do you say fit one, fit Because those are the three that I needed. Okay. And now I'll that down. one in? Yep. Hey, hold on to that. Starting in now. How do you take it off? But you didn't cut it. Didn't have to cut it. Yep. Now it's a lot more stretchy. Dirty. That one's dirty. That yeah. one's an old dirty one. This one's a new one. See, it's a lot more stretchy. Yep. Let that melt. No melt. It's not it's melted. Just... Nope. Nice, fresh, and clean. Yeah, because it, uh, it in that bag. The rest of these, we'll save them to see what happens. See if they're okay. Oh, wait, I hate when you can't go in the oh. And my hand. Well, why? Uh, so all I did was put the new ones on right here. Yep. But I don't want. Right into the sun. You don't know. How to do the things that you do. Favorite time of the day? I love days, but I love nights. Because I love days. And I love always sun, but I hate the sun always. Because, ow, ow. 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 Ow.
hear some noises. I need to undo these. Yep, we do. That, that not even make any noise. Get some air in there. You make that noise. I plug my heel. Funny. Otherwise, it's a closed system, and this will not go in it. Gunk off it. Oh. Again. <coughs> Why that plan? Why that? your head blocking right exactly where people are trying to see here oh yeah what do I do maybe here yeah right there oh I do I can't see the pipe.
Okay. Should be done with that. It's not working, yay! I mean, it is working. It's not leaking, right? What do you think? Do we do a good job? Yeah. We okay? We use our machine now? Almost. We gotta change the track out on it. But other than that, we're solid. Put these pins in. Yeah. Get it ready to go. We did what? All right, so the next thing to do is fix this track. So as you can see, I've used my own jack with it by lifting it up using the bucket. So you can look at the bottom of this track down here. 
Let's see if I can zoom in on it for you. You can see how it's missing four, four of the little metal things. That, and so the track, when it goes through, it just pops off. So those got ripped out, just tore them out. This track's pretty much no good anymore. So I'll show you. I'm doing with this and how to fix it. So, yeah. Took me a while to figure this one out because I didn't know when I bought the machine what it needed. So there's a little teeny spot down in here. There's a little grease fitting. Oh. Inside of there, there's another. So these tracks stay on by the pressure of the grease in there. So you put you pump it full of grease and it pushes the tracks out. So in order to get the tracks off, you have to let all the grease out. Which is the bad part about this whole thing because you end up getting really greasy and there's no way around it. So if you look down in there, inside this panel is a little bolt. When I pull that bolt off, it's going to let all the grease out. So you'll see how slimy it gets. But you can also watch this part, see how it sinks in once the slime comes out. But you got to be careful because it comes out with pressure and it will yeah. spray you and shoot your bolt. Yeah, you do need to be careful. Oh, it's So what I'm going to want to do is keep all this over here. Last time I did it, it sprayed all over my pants. Yep. Um, how do you get air pressure in? Get gas? Oh. Hi, Anna. You see it's starting to kind of ooze out a bit right there. Yep. I can't see. Oh, see, now you just see the track just totally sagged down. The grease started oozing out. There we go. So I pop that off. Wow. Make a big mess. Wow. How'd that come out? Do you do that? Find a hole. How do you do it? And put that fitting back in. But how do you do it? The way you... So I just had to get it out enough. Hi, Emma. Hi, Chris. Do you want to play bingo? Do you want to play bingo? No. Alright, so now you can see the track dropped way low. That was the fun part because these tracks weigh around 300 pounds or more a piece. 
So we've got to lift it off and then get the new one on there. So I'm just tightening this up just so I can clean my wrench off and everything else off around it. You need to clean that too. But come back in. It just gets grease everywhere, so. Yep. Unless there's another way to do this, I don't know. That's just all the ways I've seen it done in the books and everything else, so. That's the way I do it. it makes a mess with the grease. It is what it is. All right, let's see if we can lift this track off. Take care, watch out. Porque lo único que se me ocurre es meter eso en la, en, en la mazorca de maíz. No sé cómo será. Yo tampoco. No sé si o será bueno o, o no. si no, no lo hago. No hago la mazorca de maíz. Uf. Put that in. Oh, man. 
Yeah, my hands are all dirty. Oh yeah, Tarek, your hands are all dirty. You, you gotta lift it all into place now. That always is so heavy. Hey, I like that one. Ouch, I just punched that. So. Oh, it wasn't you that made me punch it. No, no, all my teachers say sorry always. Why are you having not eat beet hot forever? Yeah, that make that in and Okay, why do you need a new wheel? Because the other one was broken. Oh. <coughs> that one? Yep. Or that one don't be too. Or that broke too. Why this not broken? You can't see it broken because of that. But how you do it is. Okay, you hold it, make sure it doesn't pop off on that side. Okay. I hold it. Maybe I should have let more grease out. Too heavy for me, but right up there with the heaviness. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I can't so boring. It's so boring. But what? It's so boring. Game only with play is not well. Come back. <coughs> All right, watch. 
watch out, yes. <laughs> Luckily, that was easy. Didn't hurt, didn't take any energy at all. Yep. Piece of cake, right, Carrick? Yep. You did it all by yourself, huh? Yeah. Yep. All right. Okay, so now that I've got it on, I've got it on the back spoke in the front. I <coughs> just click my grease gun onto that zerk fitting there. That pump works. it in. You can see that as I pump. Now that goes back into tight. So you take a grease out and it come out here. Why are you holding that crank? Wow, that crank. <clears throat> And that's how you put a track back on your track hoe. <coughs> hey, why do you call it track hoe? Because it's attractive. Oh. You think? Yeah. Okay, good. And I think I'm not. Are you telling me to sing? I am thinking. You're thinking when I tell you to think? Yeah. If I don't tell you to think, you just don't think? Yeah. And you all tell me to sing. You always do. When I sit down like you do, like you. Hey, how did it move to like that back? So it only saw that move. So when it don't see it move. When you don't see it move? Yeah. I thought you saw it move. I saw it move like this. Yeah, you saw it move all over the place? No, I saw it whip it move. Alright, well. Ow, walk. My head. Oh wow. Can I go on now? Yep.
All right, so that's it. We got the track on. I got the other one's not broken out yet. I've got another track for it, but I'm not gonna put it on now. We'll just keep killing the one we have to all pulled up. So hey, for the first time in six months, baby's working again. I am happy. See what I say? Stick with it. You got this. Even I can fix the machine, and I'm an accountant. I know I say that a lot, and you guys laugh and say, whatever, you're, you're a handyman. Yeah, whatever. So hey, thanks for watching. That's how you fix your mini X and uh, some other things. So we see how it works in the next little while. We're gonna be digging some stumps, moving some logs, starting the sawmill up and cutting that. So stick around, hang out, enjoy the land. It's great weather up here this time of the summer. Nice balmy 80 degrees. Mosquitoes are out, that's not too bad, but we're doing good. So we'll catch you on the next one. Make sure you subscribe if you wanna watch another one of my videos and just you know check out up here and we'll make sure we got a video in there for you and hopefully something new and exciting going on. So thanks for sticking around, subscribe, and if you have any questions or comments, put them in the comments down below. See you on the next one. Where are you going? You gonna drive away? You say bye? Bye?